All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome. Uh, <laughs> thank you for being here. I'm kind of speechless at how, how everyone keeps showing up. So yay! And uh, I promised I would wear my We Need to Talk About the Ducks shirt at some point, because we need to talk about the ducks. Uh, <laughs> So uh, we're going to be continuing car Summer Carousel Horse tonight. I've got um, a couple of things to announce, and I've got some things to show before we get going. I know I want to wait until we get a couple more people in here, just because I know there's some people who will want to know my major announcement. Because, yay. Oh, th thanks, Cujo. You just completely ruined it. I'm now in 720p. <laughs> Um, thank you, Desert Owl, for the follow. Yay, welcome! No, that's not my major announcement. 720p is just him messing with settings. I do have another announcement. <laughs> and I'm excited to share it. But first, we've got a couple th fun things to share. Um, if those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, um, I finished my Goose and Tulips, which I've been stitching with Serenadia and her Moonlit Meadows community. Yay! It's exciting. Um, got that one finished. That made me really happy. It was fun stitch. Uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, you can find it on Green Terrace on Etsy. And it was a fun, really fun stitch. Uh, definitely a, a good stepping stone if you're ready for a next step in your cross stitching. So that's that. So I've had that one ready. And then I also uh, finished my part of the jungle stitch along today. So here's the full thing right now. We just did the crocodile here in the center. And he was really cute and really fun. You can kind of see him right there, get out the shadow. He's got little, little Egyptian birdies in there that clean his teeth. So we've got five animals. The next animal I think goes here, if I remember correctly. And this has been a really fun stitch. This is done by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, and they do some really cute stuff. A lot of stitching, but not a lot of uh, back stitching. So if you don't like back stitching, but like really cute things, I really recommend checking out their work because they're just as fun. And I don't think Naka's in here yet, or if she's or at all, but. I did get order some fabric from Naka. She makes gorgeous hand-dyed fabric, and this is hard to see because it's a white fabric with this subtle gray marbling, but there's the fabric I ordered, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it got here quickly, and it's amazing, and Etsy won't even let me leave a review until Friday, so... <laughs> I will be leaving that review on Friday for for Naka. Um, I went to show it today, and it says you can do this on Friday. I was like, um, but I want to do it now because I got it and it's pretty. But yeah, I'll be doing. Um, I have a mermaid stitch along that is going to go on this because I think it will accent the colors really nicely. So my <laughs> my big news. Um, and I will definitely repeat this if people miss my big news. Cujo and I are moving. We found a bigger place, a two-bedroom condo, um, a little further from where we are now. But we are going to definitely we're yet, um, going to be moving um, in about two weeks. Two weeks? Three weeks? Cujo, my two weeks? Three weeks. I'm con I don't remember exactly, um, but we're moving and we're gonna have a bigger place. So I'll be streaming up probably up till um, the Wednesday or before we move. Maybe the Thursday, depending on how packing goes. Yeah, we're moving on the 19th. Um, and <laughs> yeah, so I'll be able to have more room to stream. Um, Kuja will have a little bit of a loft space for an office, and there'll be plenty of room for Annika and quiche to run around like crazy people and yes elf the seahorse mermaid uh saw is gonna go on that so yeah two and a half weeks we're we already started packing things up um before we got the news that we got the place we found out uh yesterday that we got the place and <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're moving it's exciting so that's the big news gonna be moving and i'm gonna have more room so i'm gonna be able to do cross stitch i'm gonna get back into painting and there's gonna be some lego build streams 
Uh, Saren, thank you for the host. So we're going to have, um, it's going to be awesome. We're gonna, we moved. We're, we're moving. I don't know what else to say other than we're moving. Yay! We're going to have more space. <laughs> yes, bigger box, more craft stuff. Um, and since you weren't here when I showed it, Saren, I, I'm going to show it again. Here's the fabric I got from Naka. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's this beautiful slight marbling. Um, how big is our current place? It is... Oh, geez. Um, it's under 1,000 square feet. Is it 800-something square No, it's not that big. 700-something? I don't... 750 square feet. Thank you, Cujo. Um, so, yeah, that's the pretty fabric. It's going to have the seahorse sal, as, as it's being known to be called. The, the first two months are out. The first one, they're great. They're snarky, snarky, salty mermaids, and it's going to be fun. So that one, I'll be starting that. I'm not sure when yet, but I will let you all know. Yeah, we're moving. Uh, moving to a much bigger place. Uh, we need a second bedroom with our growing family and the fact that we have this problem of too much stuff. We have too much stuff, and uh, we need a bigger box to put our stuff in. So, <laughs> yay! And for those of you who tuned into Saren's stream, if you didn't have enough, enough of Teresa Wensler's cross stitching, you're gonna get some more here now. Yay! More cross stitching. New places double the current in terms of size, yeah. The only problem is our Greyhound is going to freak out because it's got stairs. And she does not do stairs very well. Uh, she has freaked out so much about stairs. But it's exciting, and um, I've been like, I gotta tell people! Don't worry, I've told my family, my, my friends outside of Twitch, uh, who I actually see in person. And... <laughs> so... I just thought it'd be more fun to share something exciting like this on stream. Okay. I know where I am. I'm not there. Because this is that symbol. Yes. Yeah, so um, this is... Did I miss a row? Where am I? Okay. So this is this here. And this is the one problem with, with uh, Teresa Wensler, is that time is remembering where you are and how you got there. So... That stitch doesn't go there. Why did I put that stitch there last week? Starting off to a great start. Already, we're frogging first thing on stream. Seems to be the theme. Oh, come on. Now it doesn't... Not because I got myself a loop knot. Yay! Now that my brain is all scattered, let's see if we can focus on the cross-stitching. Yay, cross-stitch! Uh, for those of you who have not joined me yet on stream, this is a Summer Carousel Horse by Teresa Wensler. This is the same artist that is doing... Um, that Saren's working on with her Pegasus. And her charts are full of blends complicated stitches. There we go. Now that I know where I am. Uh, Kuju informs me that I look much better in 720p than I did in um, whatever 540 that I was broadcasting previously. So if I look clearer on your screens and better HD quality, that's what's going on. That was his big announcement that we bumped me up to 720p, and I'm not dropping any frames, because yay for good internet. Hopefully we'll still have the good good speed when we're out there to where we're moving. Ah. So I am going to have a bit of a commute to work, so that's going to probably change how my stream schedule goes, but I'll figure it out and I'll make it work. It's one of those days. But I might be able to go back to commuting by train, which I absolutely loved when I lived further away from work before. And I'm gives me one thing nice about commuting by train is I get to cross stitch on my way to work, and that's always worth it, right there. There we go. So let's see. That's better. You have goodish internet, but the fact that we have a soft limit is kind of annoying, and, and 
elk wishes she has better internet. Yeah, public transit is way better than driving yourself at times, though public transit in this part of the state absolutely is terrible. Public transit up in the Bay Area by San Francisco is better, but yeah, California has terrible public transit and let's see. Okay, that's that's up there. I have this feeling that I've messed this up really good. I'm gonna have to seriously frog it at some point. So I don't make sure I am using the right color. Yes, okay. So now that I can cannot tell where I am, let's try this again. So this is that part there. Okay, this is where I am. Yeah, something, I have got this completely off. Cause this should have been, yeah, I've some, I'm gonna take this whole section out and I'm gonna start it over because I don't know what I did last week is completely off and yeah, so unfortunately, we're going to start this stream by frogging everything because it's incorrect. I think I'm going to go to a different color so that I don't frustrate myself further. Frogs happen. Yeah, they do. They absolutely do. Part of the problem with this chart is that it is a hand-drawn chart, so a lot of the stuff is hard to read, and you're trying to figure out what what num letter you're working on or symbol, and it just, I think I need to pick a different color to establish this better so I don't do make this mistake again. It, it, oh, the frog attacked your Pokemon. Bad frog, no attacking Pokemon. I mean, you don't even get a frog Pokemon until the second, like, generation of Pokemon. So how could it even attack generation one? Yeah. If I did, I re I don't want to rebuy this pattern so I can have a digital version because so I can read it better. But sometimes it's like oh, I worth might be would be worth it just so I could s zoom in and whatnot yeah so to give you an idea of what I'm working from without showing off the entire pattern this right here it's kind of hard to see hard to read is the craziness that is this hand-drawn pattern it's great it's wonderful, and I am so having problems reading it. I did make a Xerox of it so that I could highlight and kind of keep track of where I am without sacrificing the large pattern. But unfortunately, a lot of those these early cross stitch patterns from the even like the '90s and whatnot are still hand drawn. They hadn't gotten to computer stuff yet. So once I frog this, I'm going to pick a different color because it will frustrate me if I go back and play with this color. But, yeah, so we're really excited about moving. We've been talking about it for a while, and things came up and other things were going on. We wanted to stay close to where we were because of work, but then other things happened in terms of uh, child care for Annika. So we are definitely looking, decided to look further out that would help benefit child care for us. So that's what we did. We're going to be moving a little further. Still be a lot of fun. So I'm not quite sure how long of a stream break I will take once we start, once the move and everything starts. It will all depend on how quickly um, we get everything settled enough that I can stream.
And I've got a knot. No bad knot. This might be one of those I just sacri sacrifice color wise, floss wise. All right, now that we're just about got this all frogged. Couldn't tell where I was. Attack it from the back. There we go. I'm sorry for the boring frogging. Hopefully we'll get some more cross-stitching going soon. There we are. Let's see where we are now. We can pick some of these stitches. Yep, I'm at the point where I'm not sure it's even worth picking. I might just cut it carefully. There we go. Alright, so I apologize for the lack of visuals, but we will get this going again in just a few moments. Had to bring it up closer so I could see it. All right, so we are working on frogging out some of Summer Carousel Horse. Once I'm done frogging, I'm going to pick a different color and we're going to move on and pretend that never happened. Luckily it was light blue, so it won't leave a lot of residue in terms of um, floss picking. So there. There we go. Let's try that again. Alright, so where are we and where are we going? Something that's easy to tell and to count from. What symbol is that? No, two vertical lines, not two horizontal lines. Oh, that could be fun. We can move into some of the green. There's not a lot of that to stitch. Try to decide what color to move on to. Which sometimes is the development more, more difficult part in terms of counting. I'm actually thinking I might do a little bit more counting and get the top part of the saddle, which really would establish where everything is. 436. Four thirty five, four thirty seven, four thirty six. There we are. And let's try this again. Back up, rewind. Let's go back to where we were. So if everyone had a good day today, I I spent my day at work and then I came home and took care of the baby. And now I get to hang out with you guys in cross stitch, which is always awesome. I do appreciate everyone coming out. There we go. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit of counting so I can figure out where we're going, which is always just as important. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, one, two, three. 
three, four, 13 over four. All right, so now I'm gonna count holes. One and two and three and four and five and six and, and eight and nine and 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 and one and two and three and four. Since I'm working on even weave and you work over two threads instead of over one like you would on Ada, when I count, I count each hole, but I say and to help keep me on track. That way I don't accidentally miscount. That seems to work the best for me. I'm not sure about anyone, how anyone else does it. <laughs> There's an owl, kind of miss the time. The baby, they grow so fast. Yes, they do. Oh my gosh, she is eight and a half months, growing like a weed, getting cutting teeth. Poor little thing has been super cranky, super upset. <laughs> it's like counting time, yes. Yeah, it actually, yeah, it does feel like in music. And one and two. Yeah, now I'm gonna go back to the days of I was in the marching band. But hey, it keeps me on track, keeps me realize where we're going so that we don't lose track and miss everything. All right. Your little one is 12. Yeah, I can I can only imagine what it's how that's going to how I'm going to feel when my little one is 12. She is not that old yet. Awesome. I'm glad I'm not the only one who does the counting that way when they're working over two. It seems to be the only way that I can keep track of where my stitches are. Otherwise, I can't I just I'm not that good. I like to think I'm that good, but I'm not. I I have so many miscounting things I've done and all that. Yep. Luckily, the f the color list on this one isn't so bad. Not as many, not a ton of blends. I'd say if you're looking to pick up a Teresa Wensler, this might not be as bad as some of the others she does. She, um, this one compared to like the Celestial Dragon or even Guardian, which is a dragon in a castle, this one isn't proving to be too bad blend wise. There's lots of solid colors and not, and not a lot of confetti, at least on the carousel horse. So we will see as we get further. I'm feeling like my camera is not exactly the same as it was. I had to move things around earlier. <coughs> That's better. Just want to keep it in frame so you can see what I'm doing. I think that they were only five six online, not a bad price. None of her patterns are badly priced. No, they're not. Online, they're not super expensive right now. Um, I think they're, like, the original price on these is, like, under $5 or something. I don't remember spending that much on them. The only problem with buying from patterns online is it's, for, it, I think it's PC Stitch format or whatever, so you have to, they give you the software, but then you have to download the software to open the pattern so that you can print the pattern. I... Have I have purchased from them, and I, what I ended up doing was just printing to PDF so I could print it later. PC Stitch, yes. Yeah, so I have a couple saved as PDFs. Eventually want to do her, her fantasy sampler. It's way on the back burner. I've got to get through a couple carousel horses. Well, four, a carousel. Some other dragons by another artist. That way I have all... I have enough projects that I probably shouldn't buy any more patterns 
and I know Kujo can hear me, and but I will will always buy more patterns. But I should probably finish up some of what I have before I think about buying more patterns. But people keep putting out really cool patterns. I mean, Peacock and Fig, the one who's doing the mermaid sal, has a pattern. It has a duck, and it says, get ducked. I need this pattern. I have to stitch this pattern. I need it framed on the wall behind me as we speak. Yeah, their winter carousel horse is the only one not available. Um, if I get to a point where I've stitched it, Elf, and you're interested, I can send it to you because I do have the leaflet, and it is, as long as I don't keep it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. What about PC stitch and buying patterns? PC, uh, when you buy patterns, Hikari, from pattern on, Patterns Online, they come as PC stitch files, so that you have to download PC stitch to print them and view them, but you can print to PDF and then print that, um, save that way. That's what I did so I could open them again later. I got lucky. I was, I saw that the the winter horse wasn't available and the only place you could find it, it was in an out of print book that was super expensive. Uh, it was the, the, her Christmas collection. So I just happened to search on eBay just on a whim and I was able to snag the four carousel horse patterns and her carousel horse as a leaflet on eBay. And sometimes you get lucky and can find things like that and not spend a f small fortune on these patterns. I think I spent less than it would have cost to buy like the four patterns on P on um, including shipping on patterns online, so it was definitely worth it. I don't remember. It was that was one of the adventures of the post office. Um, sending my my package to um, a different city twice. The first time made sense. The um, zip code was one digit off from my zip code. I'm like, okay, fair enough. That's a sorting error. I get it. Humans humans fail. The second time, it actually went to the city that I'm moving to. Kind of ironic. <laughs> so. Yeah. Let's see. Where are we going? Just trying to keep my stitches straight. Yeah, I, I do have a thing for carousel horses, and when I saw that, I, I swore up and down after I finished Celestial Dragon that I would never do another pattern by Teresa Wensler ever again after the frustration and everything I went through to complete that. I'm like, no, I'm never going to do it. Never, ever again. Well, then I remember that I had Guardian in progress already. And I was like, ah, oh. so I had to finish Guardian. And I finished Guardian. And, and about halfway fi through finishing Guardian, I discovered that she had carousel horses that I didn't know about. And I was like, uh. So I bought the patterns, and uh, yeah, I've been sitting on them. I've been sitting on them for a while. My intention was always, was then trying to figure out which one I should start first, which one I should do. Uh, I decided to do Summer, partly. Um, more before I decided even to start streaming it because I had these seasonal dragons by a different artist as well. I think it's Patricia Allison. I'm not sure she publishes under that name anymore. But I had these seasonal dragons and the first seasonal dragon I did was spring. So I decided that I would do the summer carousel horse because that's the next season after spring. And then after I finish this one, I'm going to do the fall dragon. And then I, then vice versa. I'll have had several packages go to Carlsberg, California, instead of New Mexico, just like when I was in high school. I had to go things go to Roswell, Georgia, instead of Roswell, New Mexico. I actually grew up outside of Carlsbad, California. I'd rather go to Carlsbad, New Mexico. People in Carlsbad and California are just kind of... They think they're all that in a bag of chips, and Carlsbad's really not that nice. It's a nice town, nice city, it's on the beach, but it's not as nice as people think it is.
If anyone's from Carlsbad, I do apologize. Um, I grew up in Oceanside outside of uh, where, you know, there's a marine base outside of Oceanside. So <laughs> it's like, yeah, I grew up there, grew up in San Diego County. <laughs> Went to Legoland. Uh, cool, yeah. I, I've been to Legoland a couple times. Um, I definitely want to take Annika there once she's older and can appreciate that because I think it'd be fun. It's definitely great for the smaller kids. Um, and also, seeing what they built out of Lego is kind of impressive. And plus, you can take all the Lego home with you. Uh, currently not living too far from a Lego store which is kind of dangerous and awesome all at once because I do like Lego but hey yeah with the moving I'm gonna be able to do the the intended Lego streams that I'm gonna I have some Lego kits that I can't put together because I didn't have space to display them here in fact for Christmas um, Cujo got me the Lego Lego carousel and it's huge, and I have. I've been. I saw it, and I'm like, I have to have this this Lego kit. And he's like, We don't have space for you to have the Lego kit. I'm like, But 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 they discontinue stuff, and I need it. So that was what convinced him. I said, But I want it more than I can build it. So that convinced Cujo to let me to get it for me for Christmas, and it's then thus then. It has since then been sitting in the box, in the closet, calling to me, saying, build me, build me. And I've been waiting. And now that we get to move to a bigger place, I get to build the Lego carousel. I'm so excited. Closest Lego store is eight hours away, you think? And Elf's not sure where the closest one is. Yeah, there's one at downtown Disney, at Disneyland, and it's not too far from where we're at right now. Still working on trying to keep my stitching in the f in in the camera. Getting better at it. Totally getting better at it, but still is a bit of a challenge. Oh no, there's actually three Lego stores in various De Denver suburbs. That sounds dangerous. Okay, Hikari. Yes, if you know, if you can sleep, get some sleep. I know how hard it is with a little one. I know, been there, and in some ways it gets better, in other ways it gets more difficult. So. Sleep well. Thanks for stopping in. I greatly appreciate you coming by. See, for me, the Disney stores aren't so dangerous anymore. They used to be really dangerous, and then after working for the mouse for many years, I have quite enough Disney stuff. I can honestly stay. I have quite a lot of Disney stuff. I don't need any more. I, I really, I have a lot of Disney stuff. Nothing really close here. I mean, there's the picture of Donald Duck and I behind my head, but <laughs> that's about it in this general vicinity. So, you know, and I get a killer discount with the stuff from working from the mouse, but yeah, I'm okay not having a ton of Disney stuff. I, I do get more excited about um, the needlework shops and whatnot. And I was doing a Google search and there might be one really close to where I'm moving to, so that could be potentially dangerous, very potentially dangerous. Don't tell my husband. Uh, 
there's one in Vegas. It was on your list of things to, to cut, so I didn't make it there on vacation, but spending time with the... Yeah, spending time with your boyfriend when you don't get to spend as much time with him is, is pretty important. I do agree. Take the boyfriend to the Lego store in the future is, is my only suggestion. Because Legos are awesome. Just looking where I am and where I'm going, I think we're going to cut the floss and move to make sure that I counted correctly. Did take you to M&M World and you did escape rooms and watched a couple movies. Awesome. I still have not yet gotten around to doing an escape room. Uh, right now that's a little more difficult because we'd have to get a babysitter, which isn't a big deal. Um, finding a babysitter. I, there's plenty of people that I have friends that would be willing to watch the baby for a while if for so certain things, but it's just, it's time, it's money. Good luck with finding that tie, Desert Owl. Um, Disney is notorious for discontinuing stuff. eBay may be your best bet and hopefully not paying a, 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 a small fortune. I have not seen a Disney villain tie done in all the grays myself. I'd want to do an escape room with uh, people I know, people I work well, work decently well with. I know um, w with all the medieval reenactment we do, I have, I know people of all kinds of walks of life, and I think a lot of those people would be a lot of fun to do an escape room with. I could, I could see us causing lots of trouble in, in the best possible way. Yay, it looks like I counted correctly. Yay, that always makes me happy. Oh, I wish you luck. If it's out there, it's meant to be, we'll have it. Alright, so what color are we moving on to next? Just because of the nature of this particular stitch, I'm going to be doing a lot more color hopping than I usually do. I usually like to work on one color till I basically exhaust it, but because I'm having problems with counting so early and I've had to frog for counting problems, color choice, color mistakes, I'm not going to do that very much. I'm going to definitely do a lot more counting. So I can either do what looks like a tiny bit of checkerboard confetti or I can move into the saddle. I think I'm moving into the saddle because I would like to establish this because I could do the back end of the horse easier. And make it actually look like something. Some rooms will fill the rooms, others will let you go with just your party, so it's something to watch for. The one we did just was the boyfriend and I in the room. It was a great experience. We're working together and learning how we both work. That's awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't know if I could do it completely with complete strangers because it, I would probably get frustrated. 437. And you did both escape rooms. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't been to Vegas in many, many years. It is not my favorite place to go. I am not into that type of environment overall. Um, I am very much an extroverted introvert. I am very happy staying at home, reading, stitching, watching a movie, Don't not going out. I do enjoy company, which is probably why streaming I've taken to enjoying this. I get to talk to people. I get to ramble on. And I can do it all from the comfort of my own home. I skate room before that was filled with strangers and every time I tried to do something they took over it just made me mad. We didn't make it out of that room. Yeah. That's why I think I would want to do an escape room with people I know. People, you know, you could direct and do certain things with. All right. So our carousel horse is still looking like a whole lot of nothing, but once we get some of these shapes established, we might actually get to see what this starts to look like. And I've decided, the more I've thought about this, I'm going to do the carousel horse, and then I'm going to do the border. 
Um, I don't think the border is going to bore me too much. It's got lots of different colors and things. It's got a neat checkerboard pattern in it. Uh, normally, I'll, most of the times when I stitch, I will work my way into that upper left corner as quickly as I can uh, without making any, any mistakes so that I can work from left to right and top to bottom. Save this, but not going to miss a graduation. Oh. Escape. Okay. <laughs> but since I've decided to do the carousel horse, I'm definitely, I think it will um, be more interesting than just the straight border early on. And once the border is done and established, that shouldn't be too bad. This one, because I am going to do the whole, I am going to do all the cross stitching and then I'm going to do the back stitching with this one because just some of the nature of the way this one works, it's going to be so much easier to have all the stitches established before I move into the detail work. And the detail work on this one isn't too, too bad. It's just looking at the pattern and there are some detail. Oh, there is a one corner blown up detail of the fans in the corner. So you can do the um, the back stitching easier. And we're drinking tea tonight. I went with a uh, one of my favorite white teas. Wanted a little bit of caffeine, but not too much. But something kind of relaxing, so that I could wind my day down and just enjoy some stitching with my friends. Got interested in escape rooms. Ah, uh, Alf can recommend escape rooms in Las Vegas if anyone is going to be in the Vegas area and looking for an escape room. You know, there's a bunch out here. I'm not too far from Los Angeles proper, so there's a lot of stuff here. The problem is getting up into Los Angeles. I hate driving into downtown LA. It is not fun. It parking can be a pain. And the traffic's terrible. But I'll go there if I have to. Alright, there we go. Well, the only trees you can drink and enjoy are herbal infusions, peppermint, and a kim and apple from Celestial Seasonings. I Celestial Seasoning has some really great teas. Um, one of my favorite um, teas by them is Tension Tamer. I don't have any right now, but it is one of my favorite teas. I have a minor tea obsession. It's just as bad as my needleworking obsession. I have a basket of tea in the cabinet. My husband does not like that I have that much tea. He does not drink my tea. He does not like tea like that. He likes sweet tea. I don't drink sweet tea. So. <laughs> does it owl? I'm not doing a steak game outside of video games because you grew up on MacGyver and the A-Team. I don't know if they'd like to you to MacGyver too many things. Yeah, most of the escape rooms I've, um, Geek and Sundry had a, I don't know if they still have it, but they had a show where it was, like, the geeky kind of celebrities would, like, Felicia Day and some of those people would do, um, an escape room, and they were themed, and they were funny, and I'm like, oh, these look like so much fun, I want to play too. So we've watched a bunch of those episodes that were fun. Rifling pockets of mannequins. I've heard a lot of things about Adagio in terms of tea. Um, I have not checked them out yet. Uh, I've heard good things. And I like tea. And any excuse to buy more tea is one that I like. Hey Cujo, can I buy some more tea? You sure? 
please. <laughs> no blowing holes in the walls, etc. Yeah, that's probably a bad idea, Owl. They may want other people to enjoy the escape room, and if you blew a hole in it, then nobody else can play, and that's no fun. Yeah, Cujo says I can't have more tea. The one year he did get me, um, for Christmas, he did get me a $50 gift card to my favorite tea shop, so that was kind of nice. I got to buy more tea, cause he had, which was just him giving up. I actually don't really buy that much tea anymore. I used to buy a lot, and then I kind of got a lot of it, and I'm like, well, I have to drink this before I can buy more. I tend to only really get tea more when my some one of my favorites runs out. Um, I'm a big fan of Earl Grey, and if I'm out of Earl Grey, I will usually make, I will usually buy more tea. Just because I have to have my Earl Grey hot. Sometimes I like my Earl Grey cold. The escape, uh, 30 minute escape room at half the cost of the normal room and they gave us 50% off another room. We booked when we finished it. It was way worth it. Oh yeah, it sounds that way. So what you're telling me, if I make it to Las Vegas, I should look into escape rooms. Haven't had a reason to go to Vegas in a while. It's again, not really my thing. I don't... I don't do a lot of drinking. I don't really like gambling. The shows are kind of interesting if that's the kind of thing you want to see, but it's not always what I want to do. And I can get the f get just as good food or better food at a lot of restaurants out here. So, oh yeah, I've actually um, never been to Vegas with my husband. Last time I went, I went with. Um, when my, the woman who was my matron of honor, when she got married, we went for her bachelorette party. We had a lot of fun. But you can all come watch Cookie get her degree. When's, when is Cookie graduating? And what is Cookie getting a degree in? Even more important, we didn't do any gambling, had one night of drinking in the room. Didn't see shows, just wander around and enjoy each other, although we did make sure to see the night fountain show at the Bellagio. Oh, sounds like a fun trip. Kind of sounds like the way I would do Vegas, just kind of chill, low-key, and not really stress it. June 2nd. June 2nd. Why does that date ring a bell, I think? I think I've got an event I actually have to be at on the 2nd. I think it's the local group's anniversary, and I'm kind of... I'm kind of the herald, and I kind of have to make announcements and stuff. Special ed element. That's awesome. <coughs> Is she going to teach? It comes down time to get here. He drove and I flew. <laughs> if you don't count the time, I had to wait in the airport. Yeah, well, airport waiting is always fun. I've actually, every time I've been to Vegas, I've I've driven. I've never actually flown to Vegas because why should I spend money on a flight when I can take six hours and drive there? Awesome! Yay for teaching! I originally had thought I wanted to teach, and the more I got older, I realized that I didn't have the patience to teach in that sort of environment. I used to train at my job, and I um, like to think I was a really good trainer, and people said I was a good trainer, and people thought, oh, you'd be a great teacher. I'm like, I'm okay with one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one, -on -one, but classroom setting was never my cup of tea. I've been working as age for se several years. That's awesome. Yay. Yay for having the degree. tea is at the perfect temperature where it's warm but it's not scalding, it's just right. 
Okay, so I think we're going to move into the next color here because it's just been easier to establish it this way. That is the upside down triangle. Yeah, so this one is using the upside down triangle outline, the filled triangle right side up, the outline of the Trava triangle right side up. So my recommendation to anyone who's hand drawing patterns, making their own, please use completely different symbols so not to confuse us. Thank you. If I ever start to make my own patterns, I will not be using like the same symbol three times, just rotated or slightly different. Won't be giving me my Yeah, DC can be expensive. My my brother's out on the East Coast with the military, so he's been to DC. He's done that stuff, but that's just a quick drive for him. For me, you know, what color are we using? I said thirty eight. Seven thirty eight. Yeah, I've actually never been to DC. Someday, it's on my bucket list. I'd love to go to DC. I want to go to the Smithsonian, see the museum, see the, all that fun stuff, all that history, all the stuff I studied in school so many years ago. I did go to my commencement ceremony because I went to school locally, and I went to. I did not do online schooling. I did do it all in person in a classroom. Now that seems so long ago. That was over 10 years ago. Technically, commencement is held in National Arbor, Maryland, but if you fly in uh, DC and the hotel, yeah. Well, you get to the East Coast and everything is closer, much closer together. In term, at least it seems that way to those of us on the West Coast where you drive all day and you don't make it out of California. <laughs> yeah, if you drive north all day, you will still be in California. Well, actually, if you go straight north, you might make it to Nevada. But because California does that weird elbow thing. You know this because you used to stay in a hotel when we flew our VIPs to the Capitol for meeting and stuff. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, I can only imagine how expensive it would be to stay in the Capitol. I mean, given how expensive it is to stay in Los Angeles some nights. Depending on the hotel. Okay. So tomorrow, I will be working more on this, of course, but I'm also going to, during the day, pick up the fish again. I've got three more pages left of my fish stitch, and I am excited to be getting that one closer to finished, As, especially since it's an intended gift for my mom. I think she's really going to be excited with it. How cheap the Vegas hotel was, even with the daily resort fee. Yeah, Vegas hotels can be super cheap because they want to get you in, and they want to get you gambling and spending your money on that. Because you're not going to be gambling in D.C., so you might as well spend your money on the hotel, right? Since most of the hotels in Vegas seem to be hotel casinos, it makes sense that they'd want to get you just there and if you're not spending a lot on the room, then you are more likely to be spending money on the floor gambling. Or in the shops, or at the restaurants, or at all the other reasons you go to Vegas.
So once we do move, I will be doing cross stitching, but I will also have the space. I'll be able to paint. Uh, I will be able to work on the the silk painting that I intend to do. I've got a a manuscript style illustration I've got to work on, and I think those will be awesome things to see on stream. I hope everyone will be excited as excited as I am to see something other than me cross stitch because I want to do other things too. I want to do all the things. I want to show you all the stuff I can do. Not just cross stitch. So this is Strat, which at least had free parking for everyone, but it was a little far from most things. We ended up driving down to do most of the stuff we wanted to do, then we hit the mall for the AMC to see Murder on the Orient Express, and I don't remember the other movie. I think it might have been something Marvel. I don't remember what came out at the same time, Murder on the Orient Express. And last time we went to Vegas, we stayed at the MGM Grand. And they just recently refurbished it. So it was looking pretty good. <laughs> it was Star Wars. Yay, Star Wars! That's right, Solo comes out, out later this month. Yay! I only need to see two things in that game, in that movie. The dice game where he wins the um, Millennium Falcon, I think it's Sabat? Sabak, thank you Cujo. And the Castle Run. Anything else is just gravy. I don't need anything else out of that movie other than those two things. Disney, Marvel, same difference. Yeah, Disney's kind of taking over the world, aren't they? <laughs> But yay, we get more Star Wars movies? According to the trailer, Chewie's 190 and Solo. I don't know much about the expanded Star Wars universe. That is more Cujo's cup of tea. He's read a lot of the novels and a lot of the stuff. That's the back is a card game. I don't know. I, I'm a terrible Star Wars nerd. I don't. I just see them. I've just seen the movies. I have seen the TV shows. I've seen all of Rebels. I've seen all of the Clone Wars. They're a lot of fun. I, if you have not seen them and you like the Star Wars universe, I do recommend checking them out. Yeah, I never could get into the Star Wars novels. It just, I don't know what it was. I've read a lot of Star Trek novels. A huge Star Trek fan. I've seen every episode of Star Trek at least once. And all the movies at least once. The, um, a couple years ago. Uh, Cujo and I were rewatching the Star War uh, Star Wars Star Trek movies, and we got through Star Trek Four. We still haven't watched Star Trek Five. We keep looking, going. Oh, we should w finish watching the Star Trek movies, and then we remember that we're on Star Trek Five, and we really don't want to watch Star Trek Five because no one wants to watch Star Trek Five. <laughs> wasn't so much into sci-fi books, more of a fantasy person. Yeah, I started off more fantasy, and then I discovered um, Anne McCaffrey and her her Dragon Rise of Pern, which really bridged the sci-fi fantasy gap and pushed me a little more into the sci-fi stuff. And then I read both. Both sci-fi and fantasy. And I'm kind of at that point where I'm not doing a lot of reading right now in my life. I've got other things going on. I miss books. I assume I will rediscover books at some point. But right now, that's not the way things are going. Especially since Cujo has now boxed up all the books. It's very sad our bookshelves are empty now. Really want to get into Perm but never get sucked into him. Yeah, I know some people who just don't care for Anne McCaffrey's writing or any of that. I absolutely loved it. I just... I fell in love with the Dragon Rise of Pern. I 
I've read most of the per I've read all the ones that she wrote. I haven't read all the ones that Todd McCaffrey has written or written with her. Though the big, the awesome part was uh, two years ago at um, a science fiction convention out here in LA, I got to meet Todd McCaffrey, and that that for me, not to kind of go fangirl, was was really hard. <laughs> You are a Pern Harper of Records. How does one become a Pern Harper of Records? Knowing that I know what that means. Are you finishing off the Brian? <laughs> My husband's pouring scotch and he's finishing off. He's handing me Brian. Brian is um, one of our scotches. It is... <laughs> Try saying that while having drunk a few. <laughs> and that is why we call him Brian. <laughs> Akintoshi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One less bottle we have to move? Is that what you were thinking? Now that I've seemed to have gone the full range of the 730s, you're a walking wiki of the canon. You just wanted Brian. Okay, Cujo. Shannara is basically a Lord of the Ring clone. I have only read the Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. I love The Hobbit. It's one of my. Fa it's probably my favorite book by Tolkien. And I look forward to the day that my little one will be able to read The Hobbit and enjoy it. I just won't show her the movies. I like the first Aragon book. Didn't we incorporate Aragon into our, our wedding ceremony, Cujo? <laughs> it, it had its moments. Yes. Yeah, Aragon was definitely written for a younger audience. Lord of the Rings Online, awesome. I never got into Lord of the Rings Online. My MMO uh, poison was World of Warcraft. Written by a younger audience. Well, you know, write what you know, right, Cujo? Isn't that how it works? Yeah, I think he was really young when the first one came out. I never got past the second one. I never finished the story. I never finished the series. Got distracted by other things. There's so many books, so many, so little time. There's definitely some books I need need to read. Go back and read. You know, there was a chapter in Sonara about dedicated to, to describing the weather. You gave up after that. That sounds a lot like Tolkien. Giving up and, you know, or at least describing something for way too long. Tolkien did that. So did Robert Jordan. So does George R. R. Martin to an extent. Uh, yes, your way through the course. Aragon series is, is good, but it ended it, with but with it ended better. Not worth it. Never ended. You enjoyed them. Yeah, you know, it's, um, I enjoy, you know, some books are just guilty pleasure kind of novels, and there's nothing wrong with reading some of those. All right, we're finally establishing a saddle. Yay! Let's see, one and, and one and two. All right. Yeah, Cujo uh, does a lot of audiobook reading on his way to to and from work. I've been doing podcast listening since currently my commute's not very long, but once my commute gets longer, I'll probably 
get back into audiobooks. I might go through his Audible library since he has quite a few. Epic fantasy romance. Five book series, the more books revisit the world later. What series is that? Yes, Kujo, we know you love The Expanse. And worlds I want to go back and get back into are Heralds of Valdemar, um, Mercedes Lackey. I love, discovered those in high school and I absolutely love them. I absolutely love them. I have read a few of the Dresden Files novels. Um, <coughs> we're talking about that, Jim Butcher, right? I quite enjoyed the first few I've read. I thoroughly enjoy the... Uh, I do enjoy the urban fantasies. Um, I've read a couple other urban fantasies that are fun. I don't remember what they're called. Terran Soul series by C.L. Wilson. Oh, there's some romance in it, so massive. The romance is overwhelming. So many guys read the series, especially on an ebook when the covers aren't visible. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind romance in novels. I really don't, um, especially if it's just part of the story. You know, you can't. The Codex of. Oh, oh, Cujo's reminding me that I should take a break. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to remind me? Oh, I do have to take a quick little break. Um, somebody woke up for a little bit. I'm going to kind of calm her back down, and I will be back. So we can talk more about books. Yay, books! And I will be right back. Well, maybe a little faster than be right back. I will be back soon.
All right, I'm back. Poor little thing. She's been teething, so she's been really extra clingy. Um, Cujo's gone to take her for another walk, so she can calm down and relax. Uh, yes, Mercedes Lackey's uh, Elemental Masters are great. I have not read those in a while. I think the last one I read was the one based on Puss in Boots. But those are a lot of fun. I absolutely love them. The last book I actually sat down... Oh, I, I listened to it. I listened to Welcome to Night Vale, the, um, the book. Because uh, I've been... I recently gotten into the podcast, and so the book was a lot of fun, too. And so since the book was narrated um, by the voice of Night Vale. Hey, Fatal, You're totally late. Did you miss the exciting news? Well, you did, but I can tell what the exciting news is again. Uh, Cujo and I are moving. We found a bigger place to live. So yay! That's the exciting news. We're going to have a bigger place. More room to, for the baby. More room for the dog. More room to stream. More room for all the crafts. We are getting a bigger box. Yay, bigger box. Yay, bigger box. So since we are getting a bigger box... I think it means I get to have more craft stuff, right? That's how this works. Yeah, so we're going to be moving in about two and a half weeks. Um, moving stresses me out, and it really does not help my anxiety. Luckily for me, Cujo is best husband, and he, since he's been working remotely more because of childcare reasons, he's been packing up the apartment. And so, yeah, <laughs> he's so he's been doing a lot of that. Uh, no, we're not staying in the same city. We are moving further inland um, where rent is cheaper. <laughs> so, yeah, I wish we were staying in the same city. But now we're going to be moving further inland, so further away from work. But we're going to be closer to some other people um, that are some of um, the Annika's playmates, so we'll be better, that'll be better off. Yeah, I can see um, Elf where um, the voice of Night Vale would be kind of full of himself. Um, yeah, I can see though how that would turn you off the series. I do enjoy it, I think it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I've been listening to it, uh, I've been binge listening, so that's been, that's been fun. Alright, so I've got that I'm going to take the leap and go counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and 11, and 12. Yay! Ah, uh, that's a bummer. That your friend's podcast panel got, got took over. Yeah, that's not cool. I could definitely see where that would leave a sour face sour taste in your mouth about the the podcast. I have a bunch of friends who listen to it, so I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot, and I enjoyed the satire and whatnot, so I've kept going. So yay, we're finally going to get a saddle out of this horse soon. Yeah, 
You think part of your friend's fight it was the fiance does a D and D podcast and Night Vale deemed that unworthy. That's not cool. No, totally not cool. Yeah, I know they do have their own podcast network. Joe Rogan. Okay. What's his podcast about? Fatal? <laughs> the podcasts are great for at work on my break, so they're usually not super long. Or I can listen to one podcast over two, uh, two breaks. start talking to the grassy Tyson yeah I I've recently discovered podcasts it's I know they've always been there and it's been something I should should listen to or would be interested in listening to but yeah you get busy with life yay I counted correctly you think you should share my drink? Sure, come have some. There's, um, we're almost out of this one, but you can, there's definitely more. Definitely, definitely more. <laughs> my husband and I are, um, big, well, not super big, but we are scotch enthusiasts, so there is quite a bit of scotch in this apartment. So if that is your poison... I have a few I can introduce you to. <laughs> no, for Joe Rogan, it depends on who ha he has on. Sometimes it's celebrity or leaders and professionals. Sometimes the talk is pretty deep and serious. Others just out of control and hilarious. So, like a variety podcast, excellent. Well, Elf, come on down, and I will. I will. We can open up a bottle of something. It's also mead. We also have mead. If you like mead. Yeah, this particular. Um, variety that I'm drinking, this drink that I'm drinking is what got me into whiskey, so it's not my favorite one but it's what convinced me I could drink it and we are whiskey snobs if you can buy the shape of our glasses alright, so yay, it's finally starting to look kind of like a thing Maybe. Like meat or wine or beer, the hard stuff is what I drink. You <laughs> even like moonshine. I prefer my moonshine to be aged in a barrel. Specifically made from, made in Scotland and aged in barrels in Scotland. It's just my preference. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the white whiskey though. I learned to appreciate beer in college when I found out how inexpensive it was. And that became kind of what I did. Also helped at the time I was dating an older guy, so he kind of introduced me to different things before I could legally drink. Honestly, for me, I, I usually just drink water. Water is my go-to. Um, I, I do like beer and, and mead. I do like scotch. But yeah, water and tea. Usually when I drink, I'm drinking when I'm not. When I'm out, I usually get iced tea. Mm. 
Maybe pull out some Rudar, you might actually use my headache and meds have been touched. Curses, weather changes. Yeah. I've been lucky, haven't been hit too, it hasn't been too bad though. We've been looking, been threatening rain for two days here, which is unusual for May. Usually we're out of our wet season. Um, the overcast and gloomy is typical for May, but not the, the idea of rain. So, there we go. Getting that way. It's going to start looking like a saddle soon. Yay, saddle. Saddle hype. Yeah, so I'm jumping colors a little more than I'd like to, but it's helping keep things on track, making it look like a thing as opposed to not a thing. As for a timeline for when this one gets finished, who knows? Um, currently, I'm only working on it on stream, so it's going pretty slow, but that's okay. I've got so many other projects going on off stream. Next decade. Well, considering how long a couple of my other ones of these were in progress, yeah. Maybe I can get it finished before Saren finishes her Pegasus. <laughs> I don't think so. She's made some really good progress on Pegasus, and if we keep redeeming work on Pegasus, she'll get that done in no time. Went from 82 and sunny on Sunday to rain and cold today. Ooh, yeah. Sure you're not in California? That sounds like some of the crazy weather we get here. Except for the rain part. <laughs> you sent just a challenge in the works. I've also told Saren that I would work on Ocelot if she worked on <laughs> on um, Pegasus, because Ocelot is turning into my Pegasus. I just have no desire to work on it. I have other so I have so many other fun things to to, to work on. All oh, the cross stitch. Why is my this is not working? I bet on me finishing first fate hell. <laughs> I don't know. I just barely started this one and only am working on it on stream, so it may not finish as quickly as as everyone thinks it might. That's right, kitty stream. <laughs> oh, Saren. Yeah. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I lost track of where I was, and I have to... There we go. I'll finish it eventually. I only have to start like five more projects before I finish it. I've always got to have one that's been in progress for like five years, right? Isn't that how this works? Yeah, currently Ocelot's my longest in project progress project. Every nothing else has been in progress that long, which is kind of awesome. So yay! Everything else has been started this year. So that's kind of exciting. So maybe someday I will get it finished. I would like to finish it. I better pick up the bottle and there's a score for you to enjoy <laughs> at your leisure. Oh, awesome. I'll check that out probably after I'm done streaming. Probably going to go for about another half hour because I do actually have to work tomorrow and I do have to get up at an hour that I really don't want to because that's what happens when you're a mom. <laughs> don't get to sleep. Yeah. 
probably finish the fish before I finish Ocelot. I was hoping to finish the Ocelot before I finish the fish, but I haven't been working on Ocelot. So he'll probably go on hold um, until after the move. Not going to want too many things in easily accessible during the move just because it'll be easier that way. I'll pack up most of my cross stitch. Not quite yet. Definitely won't be packing up dogs through time because that release will happen before we move and I'll have to work on it. Gotta know what's up next. Gotta know what animals we're getting next or what dogs we're getting. We know we're getting dogs or cats depending on which one you're doing. But we gotta know what what time period they're in. Because that's super important. You have a dilemma. You have no glass. Well, you know, that doesn't stop some people. You can borrow mine. Uh, it's right here. Here. There you go. It's mine's also. Well. Now mine's empty. Looking like a thing. You find it's way oversized, but I found a glass or a cup, rather. Hey, you know, whatever works. Just don't fill the whole thing. Just pour a little bit in. Just a little bit. Making sure I'm not getting knots. Yay. Still gotta finish my tea. So yeah, I've, I'm feeling actually really good about my progress so far uh, today. Even though I had to frog a bit because it just wasn't lining up the way it seemed like it was supposed to. It's entirely possible that it was correct and it didn't look correct and I frogged something I didn't have to frog. You're going to use your water glass for your your beverage. Totally fine with me. Do what you want. Let's see. Cujo, is that... It's a bit loud, whatever you're watching. Because I can hear it pretty good over here. I don't know if it's coming, bleeding through the stream or not. Thank you. Which will be another advantage to us, us moving. We will have, I will have a door that I can close, and he doesn't have to be as silent when I'm streaming, which will be awesome for both of us. There we go. So we're getting a saddle. I don't know how easy it is to tell it's a saddle, but it's a saddle. Saddle hype, yay! Get that saddle established and work into the ruffles and onto the, the horse's rear end, I think is what I'm going to do. Get that done and then work on going into the top and the mane. Because once I finish the horse, I will go into the border. And then that will just be lots of stitching. I gotta get that horse in first. All right, there we go. to cut and move 
keep, help keep my back kind of neat. Not going to be my super neatest back I've ever done because of the nature of this kind of stitch. But it won't be super messy. <laughs> well, I think you deserve it after all the crazy job stuff that's been going on for you. Kind of jealous. I need a new job so bad. Maybe once we move and get settled, I'll be able to find something that closer to where I'm living, or who knows. Find a way for work from home. That'd be awesome. Stay home with the baby. Yay, getting a saddle. Yeah, I can, I can see how you feel about that. Um, you know, you, you expect to hear from them sooner, yay or nay, and now they're calling you almost a month later when you thought by now it, would, it was already decided. <laughs> well, go with your gut. I'm sure whatever you choose will be the right thing. Ninety percent sure they were suing someone else's position, and still really hoping for the job down in Denver to pan out with the recruiter. Oh, the, the um, yeah, the one that that was like that you thought was possibly perfect. So well, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. Seems like you're got things kind of working. I think I'm at the point where I need to get out of customer service. I'm kind of burnt out dealing with the public. We'll see how what, how it goes. You know, I'm going to call you set up train days and really hope you don't have to work there for more than 30 days so you can start saving to move. Yeah, that would be that would be really nice because, I mean, it's nice to be saving on rent and whatnot, living, living at home, but it's always nice not to be living at home, be out on your own again. I understand that feeling. I had to move back home after college. Didn't quite make enough to live on my own and things. I was supposed to move in with the boyfriend at the time and that was never worked out. Glad I never did. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I see what happened. Never mind. I thought I was like had made a mistake and I was mixing up my colors. So yeah, that's not so bad. You like to be able to have your own bathroom again. Yeah, that's the other thing I'm looking forward to about moving. Um, we live in a one bedroom, one bath. We're going to be in a two bedroom, two bath. We won't. We'll share the bathroom, but we won't have to always share the bathroom, which I'm really looking forward to having a second bathroom. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> the trade dealing with the public was not legal to play Mumbledy Peg with other people's souls. No, probably not, Desert Owl. Yeah, I have to be nice. And then I, you know, internalize it, and it's never good. Showing a child who insists that the bath towels belong in the sink, soaking wet is getting to me. Yeah, I could see where that would be kind of frustrating. Luckily, our little one doesn't know what to do with the towel too much yet. Which is always good, I guess. Alright. It's starting to kind of look like a saddle, at least on my end. Alright, that's that color there. I'm going to move back into that other color. So just like that one part of the horse flank, um, this saddle has been doing gradations of tan as opposed to gray, but I think it's really kind of adding a nice effect. That is the one thing that is, can be frustrating with this pattern is that so much, so many different color, you know, so sort of different colors that you get have to use. But I'm having fun. I'm enjoying hanging out with you guys. So yeah, I go for about another 15 minutes before I call it a night. So you at least get this color done so that I don't lose where I am again. I think what part of the problem was it was almost a full like it was it was over the weekend since I Okay, that's a seven. Like I thought, is that the same symbol? Yeah, some of these symbols so so difficult to tell what they are. But yeah, there we go. Just gonna keep working my way down. So the stream schedule for the rest of the week is gonna be about the same time. It'll be eight thirty tomorrow, eight thirty Pacific tomorrow, and probably seven um, Pacific on Friday. I do get off earlier Friday, but it's much easier to stream when we can kind of get the baby down. Um, at least for now. That could all change once we move. Might be able to stream earlier. Might still have to stream later. Might move some streams to weekends so I can pick up more people to watch. Because I realize this is super late for a lot of people. We looked into apartments tonight and I could actually get an apartment at a North Denver suburb for the same price as up here. Which means you may look down there and commute north if I need to. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, unfortunately... The further west you are in California, the more expensive. Also, the closer to Los Angeles, and which is crazy because no one really wants to live in downtown LA, but that's usually where you end up living. But as I was saying, for screen schedule, I will probably, it's very similar. I do get off earlier on a Friday, but again, it's easier to stream when the little one is not screaming in the background, which is totally awesome. Um, you love her, but you know, it's adorable when she's cute. 
Uh, you're trying to find a balance putting the BF in a place to get a job and putting me in a place that cost living isn't astronomically. Yeah, that's always the tough part is that finding that work-life balance to ha and being able to afford everything. And housing in your area has skyrocketed, Desert Owl. Yeah, as we people move to where it's less expensive, it then skyrockets the places that are less expensive. And unfortunately, it doesn't fix things out where it is more expensive. And the town is growing faster than they are building. Yeah, that's that seems to be a problem. We even having that kind of problem here. There, there's not a lot of affordable housing, so people. Um, and when they do build stuff, it isn't what needs to be built. And yeah, there's a problem in California. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> Looking at... Uh, 1100, 1400 for one bedroom and house general. Rent 500 a room or more. Yeah, you're, that's not too, that's, that's a little less than what it, things go for here. Um, unfortunately. That's one problem with living in a, a heavily populated area. Sorry, I was counting again. Skip one and one, two, three. This area is one of the fast growing areas in the nation with two twenty two thousand a year and a half ago, and now forty in there estimating. Wow. Well, the desert's nice. I've got friends outside of I can't remember if they're outside of Albuquerque or if they're outside of Santa Fe. They are nice areas. I wouldn't mind visiting New Mexico and that and the like. I just haven't made it out that far. I have been to Arizona. Just haven't made it all the way to New Mexico. No, no knots, no. Come on, don't do this to me. So close to having this color done. Let's see if I can gently pull it through. There we go. Yay. Got the knot worked out. We're down Carlsbad. <laughs> Five and a half hours east coast. Five east. Southeast of there. Okay. <laughs> Thread, could you not? Can you not? Yeah, I know. I wish it wouldn't do that. I'm sure there are tricks that I should know that will help prevent my floss from knotting. If I know anyone wants to work in the oil field, they're desperate for more, more workers. I will let you know. I don't think I know anyone who wants to work in that industry. The other part of what drives housing here, oil fields are a huge industry. Yeah, um, we don't have a lot. There still are some active oil pumps through places here, but um, big agri uh, agriculture in the Central Valley, um, tourism, of course, uh, 
construction sometimes. It really depends on what part of the state you're in. figure out exactly what I'm doing with my needle. Okay, yeah. I didn't lose where I was. I thought I had for a second. Mountains are tourists here. Pot is all over oil fields. Thankfully, last year was actually net loss, not in Colorado's population. That's awesome. We have a lot of tourism, but the oil companies are renting all the hotels. House, they're out of town crews. Some of the hotels are getting over 400. Night. Wow. Getting there. Okay, I think I am going to wrap things up here. I'm at the end of this row and I don't want to make the same mistake I did yes last time where I leave it and forget where I am and have to frog because I can't seem to th match anything of what I've stitched. So I think I've made some decent progress today. Got all of this part of the saddle done. There we are. And, but yeah. So again, I will be streaming tomorrow about the same time, 8.30 p.m. Pacific. So if you're available and want to come on by, I greatly appreciate anyone who wants to come and stop and chat and have some fun here. That's where we're at. And yeah, so uh, streaming for the rest of the week. Again, the big news, if you're just tuning in to the end of the stream, is that we found a bigger place and we'll be moving in the two and a half weeks. So yay, more room. And um, I will be working more on Summer Carousel Horse tomorrow. Um, I don't have any plans to work on any other um, cross edge project unless someone can convince me otherwise. Um, I do other ones I'd be willing to work on on stream right now would be Ocelot because I want that'd be one that that'd be one I like to push through. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, everyone have a good night. Uh, I hope <sighs> I, I'm a bit of scatterbrains. I'm excited about the move and nervous and all that good stuff. So again, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys had a good night and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. So uh, until next time, night. <laughs>